love. Now, let's begin. Number 1. Love in the Brain The heart is the universal symbol of love. When you fall in love, your heart rate quickens and pounds in your chest, but the organ responsible for love isn't actually your heart, it's your brain. When your brain falls in love, it sends electrical signals to the rest of your body, specifically your heart and your gut. So that pounding in your chest, those butterflies in your stomach, that's your brain saying, I think I'm falling in love. Number 2. Changing your body There's an endless list of cliches associated with love. Someone in love might say, I can't stop thinking about her, I can't eat, I can't sleep, I'm miserable. As melodramatic as they sound, love can significantly impact your regular bodily systems like your hunger and sleep cycles. So when you fall in love, your brain releases a flurry of neurotransmitters. These chemicals create a range of sensations, from stress to perfect euphoria. While neurotransmitters affect your mood and your perception, they also modulate your physical functions. A rush of dopamine, for example, makes it harder to fall asleep. The stress hormone cortisol can take away your appetite, and oxytocin, the cuddle hormone, can increase your heart rate. So when you fall in love, your body changes in strange ways, so don't be surprised when your systems go haywire. Number 3. Obsession in Disguise Have you ever been obsessed with a person or an idea? Obsession is a unique human experience. You care so deeply about something that it consumes you. It preoccupies your thoughts and it intrudes into every aspect of your life. But answer me this, what's the difference between love and obsession? Neurologically, not much. Love and obsession activate similar parts of the brain. The two words have different connotations, but inside your brain, they are one and the same. Number 4. Lust versus Love Has anyone ever told you you're in lust, not in love? Is there a difference between feelings of lust and feelings of love? Lust is characterized by physical desire and short-term infatuation. Oftentimes, you're attracted to the idea or potential of a partner, not the person themselves, and that's why feelings of lust come as quickly as they go. Love, on the other hand, is a passionate investment you make in a specific person. You love a person for who they are and not who they could be. And that makes love more powerful than lust. Number 5. Love Sickness Love sickness isn't a real sickness. It's a tumultuous cocktail of confusing emotions and overwhelming hormones. Even though love sickness isn't a real sickness, it may negatively impact your health. It turns out love sickness creates enough stress in your body to decrease your immune response. When your immune system is weak, your body is vulnerable to infections like the common cold. Love sickness might not be an illness, but it can make you sick. Number 6. Stress Relief How do you relieve stress? Some people meditate or exercise. Others keep journals and practice creative hobbies. But if you want to get rid of your stress instantly, then all you have to do is touch your partner. Physical contact between loving partners dramatically decreases stress. Maybe you had a long day at work or your family is having a tough time. No matter where your stress is coming from, embrace your partner. It's a small gesture of physical intimacy, but a hug from your partner can help you through the most stressful moments. Number 7. Thinking Long Term Do some personality types find more success in relationships? According to a 2019 study from the Journal of Personality, conscientiousness plays a major role in your romantic success. Conscientiousness is one of the big five personality traits. If you're a conscientious person, then you're responsible, you're goal-oriented, and you're industrious. But how does your conscientious personality affect your love life? Love is a long-term goal. To fall in love, you have to control your impulses, you have to take your time, and you have to build a strong foundation. So if you're impulsive and short-sighted, then there's a good chance your love isn't going to last. But if you're patient and reliable, studies like this one say your love could go the distance. Number 8. Social Confidence 
Do people get more attention when they're off the market? When you're happily in love, you appear more attractive to others. Why? Because love gives you a huge boost of social confidence. When you're single, you want to appear secure and attractive. You want to leave a good impression on others, so you worry what potential partners think of you. When you're in love, you don't care if some stranger finds you attractive. You're not nervous about saying the right thing or leaving a good impression. You're self-assured and socially confident, and that confidence makes you more attractive. Number 9. Professional Success Romance changes your personal life, but it also affects your professional performance. In the early stages, falling in love can interfere with your productivity. You spend more time thinking about your partner than your work. But over time, falling in love facilitates your professional success. On average, love increases job satisfaction. People work harder and produce better quality work when their relationships are happy and stable. You can try to separate work and play, but whether you like it or not, love impacts everything you do. Number 10. The Makeup of Love What emotions create the feeling of love? Love looks different in the early and later stages of a relationship. In the beginning, love is exciting and euphoric. This passionate love consists of lust, attraction, and attachment. But over time, love becomes comfortable, trusting, and emotional, so the formula changes. Mature or lasting love is a combination of attachment, investment, and intimacy. Now, of course, love isn't always limited to these combinations. Sometimes unexpected emotions get wrapped up in the love you feel for your partner. We may have reduced love to a simple formula, but at the end of the day, everyone loves in their own unique way. Number 11. Intimate Expression We love to be loved. Nothing lifts our spirits and warms our hearts like the affections of a loved one. But expressing love is just as powerful as receiving love. Just imagine telling your partner that you love and appreciate them. Your gratitude is nourishing the relationship, but it also strengthens the love you feel for your partner. Express yourself early and often, because romantic expression will help your feelings grow. Number 12. The Value of Trust Love demands vulnerability and trust. Without trust, love cannot exist, but it takes time to build that trust from the ground up. In the early stages of any relationship, you forego trust in favor of passion and excitement. But as your love deepens, you want to share yourself with your partner. You want to experience emotional intimacy. But what happens if you don't trust your partner? If your trust is shallow or broken, you may never be vulnerable enough to fall in love. And that's why the most successful couples value honesty above all else. Number 13. Monogamous Animals Most animals don't fall in love the way humans do, but loving relationships aren't unique to mankind. Many creatures in the animal kingdom share lifelong monogamous bonds. Beavers build their habitats in pairs, barn owls get married to their mates, and swans are one of the only bird species to take turns sitting on their eggs. Some people say love is a human invention, but one look at the animal kingdom suggests otherwise. Number 14. Personal Growth Can falling in love change your personality? According to a 2014 study from the Journal of Personality, love significantly impacts your attitude, your confidence, and your self-esteem. Researchers compared the personalities of two groups of people, one with romantic partners and one without. On average, people in love were more confident than their counterparts. Not only could they suppress their nerves, but they also had higher self-esteem and they held more optimistic views of the world around them. In other words, falling in love changes your personality for the better, so don't be surprised when love brings out the best in you. Number 15. Love and Pain Love can relieve stress, but it's also a powerful painkiller. Studies show that love provides significant relief for people with chronic pain. Simple things like looking at a picture of a loved one can take their pain away. But pain relief is just one of the many interactions between love and pain. Scientists found, for example, that love and pain stimulate the same regions of the brain. 
These powerful emotions influence each other on a regular basis. When you've fallen for someone, love can be a natural painkiller. But when you've lost someone, it's the reason your heart hurts and your body aches. Love and pain may seem like polar opposites, like two vastly different experiences, but no two emotions are more closely interwoven. Number 16. Lifestyle Changes Love can transform your lifestyle. When you think about love, you concentrate on the relationship, the bond you create with your partner. But what about the experiences you shared together? What about the lessons you learned from your partner? From new interests to weird hobbies, falling in love opens your eyes and expands your horizons. In other words, you're immersing yourself in another person's world. All right, let's say your partner loves a type of music that you've never heard before. As you fall in love with your partner, you may fall in love with their interests too. Your preferences change over time because when you love another person, you love what they love. So think back on the partners you've loved in your life because those people affected the interests and passions that you have today. Hey, thank you for watching Top Thing and be sure to subscribe because more incredible content is on the way.